Hi everybody and welcome to another crappy gamer video. In this one I will be doing another Pokemon Online video just because, well, it's had the most traction I've had in a few weeks so I did want to capitalise on that a little bit, I will admit. But before we get into the video, um, I just want to point you in the direction of my Discord. As you can see, um, it's not just a Discord for me, it's a Discord for everyone. Um, yeah, I've got the basic rules and everything, just to be nice to people, you know, that you can talk. You can advertise your own streams if you do um, streams on YouTube or Twitch. You can even advertise your videos, which as you can see, plenty of us have been doing. Uh, for those Call of Duty players, we've got Warzone. A uh, chat, a uh, co-op chat, multiplayer, and COD banter. Just keep it friendly in the banter. We even got Pokemon, so you can get Pokemon Go friends or stuff. You can trade your Pokemon trading card game codes. Even challenge each other to Pokemon. You know how it goes. Um, I just love helping other people, and if this is the best way to help people, then I really am doing my job. Yeah, I'm going to leave it on there because I know that it's probably the worst thumbnail in the history of Pokemon, but I enjoyed it. It took me a while to figure out, so I hope that you enjoyed it as well. So, in this video, as you could probably tell by the title, we are looking at um, the Pokemon trading card game online and how to get around it when you first log in. Um, I've already opened it today, but this will be a daily bonus. You get five of these. Um, the first three will be poker coins, uh, these up here. Then you will have an event ticket, which is here. So um, I will show you. You can do event things and over. And the last one will be boosters, which I will show you. But again, you can find it here. And up here, you got a really nice menu you've got your friends list uh, all your updates and all the public chats of everyone and everything going on if you need help then most of them are friendly so next I want to show you this this is where you can redeem your code as I said if you buy booster packs or decks in real life and you get that little card with that really weird code on it you can type it in here or if you've got a webcam you can scan the QR code and it will put the pack there however there is one thing you won't always get the same cards in the boost or the deck as you got in real life you will get a few of the same some will be different I don't know why but it at least admits that it knows what pack or deck it is so be glad that it just gave you cards from that I guess uh, next we have our shopping trolley we can buy uh, new decks and uh, booster packs or gameplay to add to your cards or whatever or for when you make your own decks I am hoping to do a deck episode on Wednesday I think it is and I really hope that that comes off because I will be telling you how I make my own decks and how my theory about it and I'm hoping to be joined by somebody who's been into Pokemon a lot longer than I have and he's a genius at it um, but yeah these are decks when you start out um, I will try to find it okay I think it's on deck manager yeah okay it might be if I go to Trading Challenge, I can show you there. Um, when you first start, you'll get these three to start with. The Hidden Depths, the Crushing Current and Born of Fire. So you can do these for your daily challenges. Um, these reset every time or two. As you can see, I've hit Platinum on a couple. I don't know why I did that. Um, but you do start off with Gold and then go Platinum and then City Championship. Um, you have to defeat four of them to unlock a card and the fourth time you beat them you get a free booster pack um, this is a boost uh, deck I bought you need 500 coins for that 
because as you obviously just realised you need to do four with all different decks so yeah uh, I am planning on buying another deck I will let you all pick one if you've watched this far of course yes so back um, I am t a little bit torn um, do I mean to do that one yeah I'm a little bit torn between the Charizard deck here and um, the Dreadnought deck so let me know which one you think I should spend my points on but it's easy to get your 500 coins within a couple of days it really don't take long um, here you can uh, uh, change your avatar sell your avatar settings and here you can see your challenges uh, as you can see I'm not level 1 on anything yet and I will get my next tally challenge in about just under 2 hours <coughs> but these are your rewards and for every level that you get and these are your statistics I know I've not really got the best ones um, yeah I've never done a tournament on here yet and I've done 3 upset wins which I'm really proud of I have lost more than what I haven't so take that as you will over here you've already seen earlier in the video you've got your collection this is also how you do your trade and um, if you've got this padlock lock then you can't trade it but if you've got a card like this or padlock that's open you can trade it you just click that for trade and it will be available for trade I'm not going to put that one for trade because I've only got one of it and I do have one untradeable metapod which I have no idea what I'm going to do with yet next you will see your deck manager this is where you can see all the decks you own and yeah I know the other two that you start with aren't there apart from crushing current and mental might I unlocked on my first victory I think it was um, so you've got that to look forward to as I said I bought this game uh, sorry this deck but it tells you I've got three none 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 but you can also create your deck here as I said I will be showing you how to do that on uh, Wednesday hopefully with a friend what I've got to show you is in collection um, if you unlock a pack or a deck and you can't find it just go to a collection hit the packs and you will find any packs that you haven't opened or decks that you haven't opened around here um, you also get your gameplay um, yeah I've got them too and I can't really do anything with my avatar at the minute anyway trade pretty obvious <coughs> sorry I've got a sore throat um, if you want to create a trade click that go to public trade type here what you want so say you want I don't know Charmant Pikachu because he's the most famous one you can hit that and drag that up here and then you go over to what you're going to offer and offer your cards I've got these two cards up here available for trade mainly because um, well you'll see in a couple of days I think it's Friday I'm uploading the video and I have to try to get a tin pole into an Aggie Slash I believe the challenge was so um, yeah I hope that you can stick around for that next you've got your trainer challenges um, yeah I don't want to save that um, these are your challenges I will go on gold um, you have to defeat all of them with a different deck like each sign you unlock a card for the first three and you get a free booster pack on the fourth um, there are I think 12 people you have to battle and defeat and once you've unlocked your card um, you, I believe you can see it there yeah, you click that in the deck status I've got all seven cards unlocked for that I need to win two more battles with it before I can take this into platinum even though for some reason it's been letting me do it and platinum 
but I'm not going to complain too much about that. You know how it goes. Um, next, you've got the verses where you find people online to play against. You also get rewards for that. Another easy way to get coins. Um, as you can see, every couple you get new coins. You get these uncommon chests, which always come with uh, uncommon card and sometimes money. It, um, I believe it's between five and three hundred coins in one of these, and I do really like this card. I'm working on getting that one now. I think I've got one or two more wins, and I can get it. Um, but yeah, uh, as you win all this, next I'll be going up to here and then here. And I really want that card, but I'm not going to get it because there's only one day, one hour left. And unfortunately, I worked my brother and I don't have a lot of time to catch up with it today. So maybe next week. Events. This is where you play all your tournaments. You get these ticket, uh, tickets I told you and you can find your entry here. You can see your rewards here. You normally get a booster pack just for... Um, competing, uh, fifth to eighth place is getting uncommon chest, third or fourth, a uh, trainer card and a uh, booster, and first place you get two hundred tokens, a uh, standard booster and a uh, vivid voltage um, couple of boosters as well. And but you see they've all got different entries. This is standard, I won't ever play in a expanded event, I'm not that silly, um, but there are different ones, different rewards, uh, for this one just for taking part you get two rewards and then it carries on from there, and this will bring you in the first time you load it up and you get your first deck um, you get coins here as well and you end up with a deck and a booster for uh, completing the tutorial which is well worth it I do believe that's where I got my psychic deck from which I can remember what it's called because I've only used it twice I'm not a big fan of psychic Pokemon um, that's not to say they're not useful it's just my preference that a lot of them take way too many coin uh, energy to load up and they don't get very many evolutions to power up too much um, but yeah the first one it will show you I will play it for you quickly before I end this video because I know this has been longer than it should be yeah I know zoom in right click yeah, this gives you the basic information. So you drag it up there to your active Pokemon. <coughs> okay. Uh, she sent me what to do still, even though I've already done it. So if ever you forget how to play it, you can come back here and relearn. And hopefully I'll do beat this Ratata, otherwise I'm going to be so humiliated. Yeah, yeah, I'll get my tail whip. I'm hoping they don't heal. Oh man. I know it's going to happen, but... I still like to act surprised just because I know um, got my healing done we will do another tail whack just because why not take the ratatouille out and then we've only got Demi Elf to contend with get your prize for knocking him out Wow, that was totally rigged. Yeah, and I'm going to put energy on that Pikachu. And we will 
protect our whip again. This is some other video. This isn't my normal way of playing. I will tend to put my weak Pokemon out first and just randomly sacrifice it while build up all my stronger Pokemon if I can get their energy fixed so I can come in and you know just wipe their Pokemon out if I can and let's just finish this off in style I do love the effects all the lightning and everything coming down and there's my victory um, if this was my first time, I would get that 25 coins. As I said, it's not hard to get your first 500 coins on here. In fact, it's easy to get 500 coins every few days. Um, but that will concede the tutorial. I hope that you do enjoy it. And I also hope that I've taught you something new. Um, so... Give me, leave a comment, leave me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you enjoyed it or you didn't. Either helps me out and lets me know what you do and don't want to see. I really do appreciate each and every single one of you. Um, so thank you again for watching and I'll see you on the other side.